What up, Jim? Tim is here. Now, here's my review for the recent Netflix comedy, The Man from Toronto. Now, the movie did premiere a couple of weeks ago, so I'm probably a little late with this review. But, hey, barely than ever, I guess. Anyway, you know, I was actually interested in this movie. You know, you had Kevin Hart, who I love Kevin Hart. You got Woody Harrelson, pretty much replacing Jason Satan, by the way. For the for a film that also features uh, the director of the Hitman's Bodyguard, which I really draw those from as well. Anyway, now of course, you know, you got Kevin Hart pairing up with Woody Harrison, which should have been really cool. That that could have been an interesting um, team up there. Sadly, this movie was just not good. This shame too, because I love Kevin Hart, even his unpopular films. Like, I really like the Ride Along movies. I think um, even the Jumanji films, which are not popular, but I do appreciate them. I love his team up with, you know, Dwayne Johnson. I even enjoyed Fist Fight. Fist Fight. Oh, no, no, not Fist Fight. Uh, Get Hard, my bad. Um, I enjoyed Get Hard. That movie was hilarious. But this movie is just, is just plain old bad. You know, it's pretty much like a ripoff of Training Places in a weird way, where, you know, you got Sick Guy Denny, um, including, like, where you got um, Kevin Hart, who plays Teddy, who's this uh, failed internet a flag instructor, who is pretty much about to, like, uh, he's pretty much want to um, arrange a spot with his, um, with his uh, wife, played by Jasmine uh, Matthews, and while at the um, Airbnb, he gets mistaken with um, by the sit man named the man from Toronto, played by Woody Harrison. So they got um, clear, you know. Uh, so you know he's pretty much um, has to like they pro. Um, they end up teaming up with hosts of staying alive here. You had some really cool cast members in this. You had Kelly Kawaka, who I always like. Ellen Barkin pops up in this, but man, this movie just is completely unfunny. The script is horrible. I mean, this movie just really felt like those, maybe like um, a movie that could have came out like in the 80s. I could have totally had seen this movie be an 80s film, an 80s action movie that had the likes of Eddie Murphy and um, maybe Stallone teaming up. But this movie is just not great. It's um, it's a shame too, because like I said, I love Kevin Hart. His humor is always on um, fun. I mean, I'm pretty much going to be working on... Um, uh, working where he's uh, performing at Mass Square Garden on next week, so that's that. But yeah, this movie is just completely terrible. I mean, it's just not all that funny. The jokes just doesn't hit. I mean, I'm still like I'm at I, the Kevin Hart shook. I I'm, I'm not getting tired of Kevin Hart. I think the dude is so hilarious. I really quite like Fatherhood he did last year. The guy does have some really fun comedic chops, but just this movie. Now, the movie was supposed to be a Diaco release, but then after seeing this movie, I'm like, yeah, I can constantly now why they did not release this thing in the ears. Uh, Because, I mean, Kevin Hart, like, his movies has made money, but who knows if this movie would have even been much of a hit in the ears. But, hey, uh, that's what Netflix is for, I guess. Hopefully his next movie, Me Time with Mark Wahlberg, hopefully that would be a better film. But how do I say? Anyway. Let me lead you guys. Did you have a chance to check out The Man from Toronto? If so, what show? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you even a fan of both Kevin Hart and Woody Harrison? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. This is Simeon Sign.